Hello and welcome to ZimWatch TV. We are thrilled to have you join our community of news enthusiasts. If you're looking for the latest news, updates, and insights, you're in the right place. Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and like our videos to stay updated on all our latest content. Job Seek Allah wins appeal against conviction. In a landmark ruling, the High Court in Zimbabwe has overturned the conviction of opposition leader Job Sikala, who was wrongly accused of publishing or communicating false statements prejudicial to the state. The court's decision is a significant blow to the regime's attempts to silence dissenting voices and opposition leaders. According to Hopewell Chinono's post on X, the High Court ruled that there is no crime called publishing or communicating false statements prejudicial to the state. The state consented to the ruling, indicating that it knew all along that the charge was used to persecute Sikala. Sikala's lawyer, Harrison Como, successfully argued that the charge was baseless and that the magistrate's court had no jurisdiction to convict him. Como had previously represented journalist Hopewell Chinono, who was charged with the same offense, and had won the initial ruling in 2021. The High Court's decision is a victory for justice and a testament to the courage and resilience of opposition leaders like Sikala, who have refused to be silenced by the regime's intimidation tactics. The ruling also highlights the importance of an independent judiciary in upholding the rule of law and protecting citizens' rights. However, the fact that the magistrate's court disregarded the High Court's previous ruling and convicted Sikala anyway raises concerns about the independence of the judiciary and the rule of law in Zimbabwe. The use of non-existent laws to persecute opposition leaders and dissenting voices is a tactic that has been employed by the regime to maintain its grip on power. Sikala's case is not an isolated incident. Politician Fadzai Mahir was also wrongly convicted using the same law that doesn't exist. The regime's tactics are a clear attempt to silence opposition voices and maintain its control over the political landscape. The High Court's ruling in Sakala's case is a significant step towards justice and accountability. However, much work remains to be done to ensure that the rule of law is upheld and that citizens' rights are protected in Zimbabwe.